We are looking at a busy weekend ahead. We've got a first alert weather day starting late overnight tonight and heading into Saturday. That's when we're looking at two rounds of potential severe weather affecting us here in the valley. So we want you to pay attention and be ready for this. We haven't had severe weather in a while. Here's a look at the latest. We've got uh, rain chances already having started up with the Colorado low that's causing all of this still down into Colorado all the way up to the north and east. We are seeing those storms uh, touching off here and you can see there's main line here is south of Grand Forks that continues to kind of make its way. Oh, east northeastward at this point in time. There's also a little bit of rain over toward Bemidji and uh, the Red Lake areas and then there are a few areas where we have some light sprinkles coming down or a light rain shower. A lot of mist out there, a lot of fog affecting us here uh, this afternoon as well. This is that main line stretching from Crookston back through Reynolds back over into uh, parts of northern Steele County here south of Northwood. Well, Northwood's getting a good shower too. Here's Grand Forks getting some rain, not as heavy as what's going on to the south. That's where the lightning and thunder happen to be. There could be a little bit of small hail. It doesn't look as intense as it did before. Here's a look at our visibility reports. We're down to a half mile in Bemidji. Other places less than a mile up to about two miles where we're getting rain showers. There's also some fog and some mist creating what is going to be a gloomy looking afternoon for a lot of places here today. There's just so much moisture pushing in here. We're looking at 42 degrees in Fargo and 39 in Grand Forks. The warmer air, you can tell where it's at. We're down to in Sisseton, 49 degrees and the wind has picked up. We're seeing winds out of the east or southeast and we're looking at wind gusts at times getting into the 30s. Detroit Lakes, a wind gust right now of 32 miles per hour. So here's our hour by hour planner as we make our way through the day. We've got that chance for some rain and thunder continuing and by the time we get into the afternoon temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s north southern valley we're looking at upper 40s to some low 50s and chances for rain will linger. So it's not necessarily going to be one of those days where we get big breaks but uh, there will be some spots where we maybe get a little bit of a respite before we see another round move in. It's not until later tonight around 10 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock, where we're going to see that chance for severe weather move in. You can see some hints at it when I've paused this here at 9 p.m., but watch what happens over the next couple of hours after that. We see kind of an explosion here of rain and thunderstorm activity. We're looking at hail being our greatest threat for tonight. Also some gusty winds and heavy rain. Again, we have that flood watch in the northern half of the valley, and there could be a couple of waves of this. This is 2 a.m. You could see another one moving in, so you might get woken up a couple of times by some some rumbles of thunder and flashes of lightning and hopefully not severe weather, but we, I can't rule that out. And this continues into tomorrow morning around 8 a.m. We start to see a, a relative break compared to what we're dealing with overnight. And as we make our way into the daytime, you can see drier to the south, a few uh, areas of showers to the north and really warm air pumping in with this system. We're looking at temperatures, first of all, in the 60s and 70s in the south around 3 o'clock and then up to the north more into the 30s there up around Rolla and Langdon. So huge temperature difference, windy weather, and you probably notice this line starting to develop. This is around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That is going to lift northward. It's actually going to race northward, and we could see some of our strongest storms with that, especially on the Minnesota side of the Red River, where we're looking at all types of severe weather possible. Hail, wind, that could be damaging, and then on top of that, an isolated tornado can't be rolled out. So this is something we're going to have to watch closely. Into Saturday, Saturday evening that lifts northward. We start to see a break in the action before the snow comes our way. We're missing out on the heaviest snowfall again, a blizzard warning for western North Dakota, eastern Montana with this one. But we will watch that snow start to move in Saturday night and heading into the day on Sunday. Not a whole lot going on in the east Sunday morning, but eventually this all starts to work its way eastward and especially along the Red River and eastern North Dakota. We have some chances for some accumulations. Uh, it's going to be kind of a, a question mark about how much we'll see here because of temperatures. But in general, we could get a couple of inches, especially over into the Devil's Lake Basin. So busy, wild weekend, severe weather Saturday. Then we're talking about snow on Sunday. Next week does look quieter. <laughs> it's a very dynamic storm we got to get through. That's for sure. Thank you, Lisa.